Well, it's Mike Farley. We're in Colleyville, Texas tonight, and we have a awesome project to look at. So we have a spectacular house, spectacular piece of property. So what do you want to do when you have a beautiful place like this? You want to keep it simple. Uh, you want to accent it. You don't want the pool to be the thing. The pool complements the setting and the home and the whole environment that we have here. We have beautiful oak trees and rolling grass all going out, and we have a little bit of a hill side and architecturally there was really two strong elements on this house that the pool obviously had to play off of one of them is what I'm looking at right here you can't see it it is a massive Corton steel fireplace it is really cool architectural feature and so what we felt was the pool needed to be centered up on this uh, the other thing is we wanted to work with the existing covered porch that the builder provided us uh, but they wanted a sunken kitchen and so we had to create a sunken area under the existing porch and so what we did is we took the center line of the fireplace and the center line of the covered porch which the spa is on and that's your your axis and your cross axis on this particular project we wanted a huge tanning ledge here which we we came in and put glass tile on top of so it all looked really nice from a finish standpoint it's very comfortable a lot of times we do six feet sometimes seven feet this is like 10 foot for the tanning ledge so a big nice tanning ledge and some benches all the way across and then recessed off to the side we had the swim up bar because we wanted the bar stools to kind of be out of the way of the volleyball and basketball games and those type of things so the bar stools are recessed over to the side then we have a sunken kitchen with lots of prep space uh, nice grill area and we have everything from a sink and we've got a refrigerator everything down in that space that you're going to need for a great party uh, and for a great evening so we, we got a TV down there too. Uh, so what's cool is uh, you can sit in the spa across the way and look at the TV and wave at everybody on the bar stools. Uh, so the spa is very comfortable. You just sit eight people. And then we came in with a matching cabana uh, over there that ties in with the cabana that was done by the builders. So tying in the Epay wood and the different features that were used over there. Now what's really cool too is because of the slope in the yard, we have a vanishing edge. And so we'll have to go down there. Well, there's a hidden detail detail down there that you can't even see yet, which is this really cool fire pit, which you'll see really cool at night, but right now in the daytime, it's not as noticeable. So let's let's go down and look at that side of the yard as well. Uh, we're still in Colleyville, Texas on this. Yeah, you can see the fireplace. Is that thing massive or what? That's big, huge Corton steel fireplace, two stories tall. Uh, it's a really cool detail. So we centered the pool up on that. Uh, we've got the transition down the hillside. Just came in with flanking staircases on both sides that came down and then we pulled the glass tile that we used on the tanning ledge and the water line down over the wall and into the tank. We wanted the fire pit to be raised so we could comfortably use it as a footstep for our big seating area down here. I mean we've basically got six couches down here for people to hang out and enjoy this uh, level of the pool and the fire in the evenings. So really cool space. You can see all the details of the home. It's a spectacular home and a really pretty piece of property so we've got some uh, details we'll look at in the kitchen here in a minute but just wanted to show you how this elevation worked with the yard so one of the cool details on this particular project is the travertine we used so it's an oversized travertine paver you have to be careful with oversized travertine pavers is you want to use it where it's the pattern really plays off and this particular travertine is a really cool look and the fact that you can see the vein in the travertine going through it so it adds to the lineal lines of this particular project so a lot of times people are like oh we can't lay the travertine with the lines of the pool you know that's just too much uh, so they'll do it in perpendicular to it uh, here we actually laid it in a line with the pool it accented the lines drawing your eye all the way back to the oaks and the grass and the fire pit in the backyard so one of the neat things is this is a two foot by three foot piece of travertine. So 
you want to use this in big spaces you don't want to use it where there's a lot of little details uh, we tried to use full pieces in the pattern and how it laid out so you got to be careful when you think about it so this sunken kitchen is really cool we put this backsplash here for so we could have some plugs but it also keeps people that have had maybe too much time at the swim up bar uh, from staggering over here and falling into the kitchen because one of the things a lot of people do use is they use this countertop as a walkway from one side of the pool to the other now there's nobody with their food here so it's not impolite of me to walk through here the nice thing is we've got a grill area we've got you know a drop-in cooler right here where all the bar stools are so people can get drinks we've got the ice machine right there uh, making sonic ice so we've got all that we've got a fridge in the center here so we can disperse drinks we've got a sink We've got some trash can and storage. The grill we tucked to the side, the sink we tucked to the side so we have as much prep space as possible. It's very comfortable to have bar stools along this side for dry seating, along with the bar stools on this side for wet seating, uh, which we have six of them. Uh, they're set up on a little bit of a shelf so everybody's standing there is at the same depth even though the floor uh, is transitioning at different depths. It's a nice little detail uh, to work with. And of course, if we have bar stools in the pool got to have in for a cleaning system can't be having some polaris wrap around a uh, you, you'll come you'll call and kill your pool designer uh, if you have to unwrap a pool cleaner from around a bar stool all the time it's a really nice space to go work in conjunction with the structure that the builder provided in this area uh, so we had to work a few details out to make sure everything worked great but the math worked uh, it's a good thing I'm good with a calculator. Uh, so we've got the spa over there, the, the cabana. This is all centered up on this structure, of course, and the TV. So great space here in Colleyville. It's pretty simple from a aesthetic standpoint not a lot of water features or fire features but we wanted it to blend with the architecture of the home and the setting and just a you know a classic tranquil peaceful place so come and relax this is a great place to be and we'll talk to you all later have a good night